कैवल्यलिंगा जय जय कैवल्यलिंगा ब्रह्मा ब्राह्मी नित्य निवासित विष्णु वैष्णवी सदा आक्षित शिव शक्तियालया ओम जय कैवल्यलिंगा जय जय कैवल्यलिंगा नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू कैवल्य योगा गुरुकुलम और के वाई जी This is the KYG shrine, and we are doing a series on the KYG shrine, explaining the details of each of the aspects of the KYG shrine. So, if this is the first video you are bumped into, please check out our playlist KYG shrine on our channel KYG Yoga on YouTube. In this episode, I want to cover a very important aspect of the ritual, and that is the arati. The arati is the grand culmination of a worship, where the idol is decked, and finally we light a camphor, and we wave it around, and allow the light of the camphor to light up different parts of the idol, so we can hold that in the depths of our heart and go back home. So this was a tradition practiced in the temples and is still being practiced, and we want to end our rituals as well with the same tradition. Uh, a very glorious, very beautiful tradition where we sing and there's a rhythm and there's a melody and the chant. All of that brings raises the consciousness of the worshipper, of the practitioner, if you will, to a state of uh, high and deep absorption. About five years ago, when I went to the Himalayas with the little spatika lingam in my hand and got it blessed at different Shiva temples with a deep prayer for guidance, for clarity as to how do we offer this service. Seeking strength and wisdom, these words started forming in my heart over weeks, over months. And what I'm going to present to you today is the arati as it finally manifested in KYG. So it goes like this: We are singing Hallelujah, Jai, Jai Kaivalya Linga, Jai Kaivalya Linga. Jai is victory. Jai is also like a, like we say Hallelujah. In the Christian tradition, Hallelujah, praise. So it's a joyous praise to this emblem of oneness that we hold so dear to us in our hearts. Jai Kai Valya Linga, Jai Jai Kai Valya Linga. That is the crux of this arati. Every time we come back to the Jai Kai Valya, Jai Kai Valya, Jai Kai Valya. So the first paragraph goes like this: Jai Kai Valya Linga, Jai Jai Kai Valya Linga, Brahma Brahmi Nitya Nivasita, Brahma Brahmi Nitya Nivasita, Brahma and his Shakti Brahmi reside in the base of the Kai Valya Lingam, as we talked about in the previous episodes, and then. Vishnu Vaishnavi Sada Akshita. Vishnu and Vaishnavi always reside. Sada Akshita. Nitya Nivasita Sada Akshita. These are synonyms to say they eternally reside. Vishnu and Vaishnavi reside in the middle section of the Kaivalya Linga, as again as we talked about it earlier. Shiva Shakti Alaya. Jai Kaivalya Linga. Shiva Shakti Alaya, Shiva Shakti. This is the home of Shiva and Shakti. The top, the linga, the beautiful aspects with all its sixteen glorious forms. We see the ultimate fulfillment energy. We see as Shiva and Shakti. So Brahma and Brahmi, Vishnu and Vaishnavi, Shiva and Shakti. All of them are in this divine or species lingam that we call Shiva lingam or Kaivalya lingam. So the first paragraph goes like this. Jai Kaivalya Linga, Jai Jai Kaivalya Linga, Brahma Brahmi Nitya Nivasit, Vishnu Vaishnavi Sada Akshit, Shiva Shakti Alaya, Jai Jai Kaivalya Linga, Jai Jai Kaivalya Linga. And then we move on to the Shuddha Spatika Linga. The Shuddha Spatika Linga 
in the KYG tradition is going to be the Linga that travels. Because the Shuddha Spatika, the crystal is, re represents the space element and beyond. This granite stone represents Prithvi element. It has come to stay. And one of my prayers was this, once this materializes, then KYG is now firmly grounded in our consciousness. This is Akasha and beyond. And so this travels. So in all my pilgrimages and all our pilgrimages that we will do in the future together, we will take this Lingam with us. So we carry the essence from all over the world and bring it back to this KYG shrine. So that the entire universe, this becomes a microscopic representation of the macrocosm. Suddha Spatika also is an obeisance, a reverential offering to the feet of the Guru. Everything, everything is symbolic here. So we offer the highest wisdom that emerges as a Suddha Spatika, the pure crystal. We offer it at the feet of the Guru because we learnt it from the Guru, the primordial Guru, Dakshina Murti. I've discussed this in much detail in a whole series. Dakshina Murti is the supreme consciousness talking to us. Your direct link to your to the divine as a teacher. He talks in silence. So he awakens a deep intuitive awakening that's that's caused by him and he talks to us in the language of silence. As Baba would say, it is only in the depths of silence that the voice of God can be heard. It is that voice of Dakshina Murti. And so this lingam is dedicated to him. This was the lingam that Finally, in all my pilgrimages, when I, after doing the Himalaya pilgrimage, after going to Kashi and Banaras and uh, after going to Badrinath and Kedarnath and all these places, I brought it down to Rameshwaram and I wanted it blessed in the innermost shrine and they said they cannot bless it in the shrine because there is a tradition that you don't take anything into the innermost shrine and therefore I was a little disappointed. But then a person advised me to go to the Shankaracharya mutt there and when I went to the local Shankaracharya school, they said, we have a yantram energized and worshipped by Adi Shankara himself. He has established here. It is the Dakshinamurti yantram. Dakshinamurti is sitting on it. Why don't you offer this lingam at that feet and get it blessed? I was very touched because I have always been chanting the Dakshinamurti mantra and this happened to be that I was, I was brought here and the, the lingam finally got sanctified very beautifully there. The priest who looked at the lingam was so touched by it, he said, leave the lingam with me. I will leave it in the shrine the whole night and let it sit on the yantram. And tomorrow morning we will do a puja and you take it because this is a very special lingam. And so it was that this lingam got sanctified uh, with the grace of Sri Dakshinamurti at the very yantram and the place where Adi Shankara many hundreds of years ago actually worshipped. So this paragraph goes like this. Dakshinamurti Divya Swarupina Shuddha Spatika Akar Dakshinamurti Divya Swarupina Shuddha Spatika The Shuddha Spatika, the pure crystal represents the symbolically the divine form of Dakshinamurti. Dakshinamurti is actually a formless entity but is symbolized in a statue at an altar which is being made as I speak now to you. And we will cover that separately at a much later date. But nevertheless, Dakshina Murti Divya Swarupina Shuddha Spatika. This Shuddha Spatika is that. <coughs> Shuddha Spatika Akar. What is happens then when we meditate on this? Prema Bhakti Purna Pradayaka. Prema and Bhakti, it gives us love and devotion. My dear friends, Nothing in life is achieved without love and devotion. Devotion to your task, devotion to your teacher, devotion to what you have in your hand at that moment. Love, love and devotion are the key for anything. And therefore the first thing that we seek out and, and receive is prema and bhakti. Prema bhakti purna pradayaka Satya Shanti Ahimsa Prakashaka Satya Shanti and Ahimsa Prakashaka This crystal is shining out beautiful values of truth, Shanti, peace, Ahimsa, non-violence, 
and dharma, righteousness, as you will hear in the next line. Satya, dharma, shanti, prema, ahimsa, all these values radiate from this. These five values were very, very, very dear to my beloved Guru Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. So, as I offer this very first verse, I pay homage to this divine Guru without whom Maya and I would have never got into this path. It was the entire spiritual awakening is entirely due to him. All right. So, this is a dedication to him as well. And the essence of all his teaching can be crystallized in simply five words, Satya, Dharma, Shanti, Prema and Ahimsa. So, this line goes like this. Prema Bhakti Purna Pradayak Satya Shanti Ahimsa Prakashak Swadharma Marga Darshaka Swadharma. Dharma is righteousness, but your sense of righteousness. Swadharma. What is my sense of righteousness? If I believe in certain values, let me practice that. Let that reflect in my thoughts, words and deeds. Okay, so this paragraph goes like that and therefore let's summarize this paragraph. Dakshina Murti Divya Swarupina Shuddha Spatika Akar Ati Shuddha Spatika Akar Prema Bhakti Purna Pradayak Satya Shanti Ahimsa Prakashak Swadharma Marga Darshaka Jai Jai Kaivalya Linga Jai Jai Kaivalya Linga